Hi, writers. Today we are going to continue working on our research-based argument essays by collecting evidence. Our content objective is that we can collect quotes and evidence to support our claim, and our language objective is that we can read text to collect evidence and quotations to support our claims, and we'll use boxes and bullets graphic organizers to help us stay organized. So today we're going to do a lot of reading, even though this is writing time, um, so we can have all the evidence we need when it is time to write our draft. And by the end of today, you'll have two to three strong pieces of evidence um, for each of your reasons. Now, evidence is proof from a credible source. And when I say credible, I mean a source that we can trust. And you've talked in the library about which sources we can trust, and you have articles that are trusted that you can use. And they can be facts, statistics, um, they can tell us about surveys and research that people have done in the articles you read, and we can use quotes directly from those articles. Now, when we include evidence, we don't just want any piece of evidence. We really want evidence that will sway or convince your reader and your audience that your claim is true. So while they read and they get to a piece of evidence um, from one of your articles or one of your sources, they should say, yeah, that's that's right. Now I see why people should not be allowed to climb Mount Everest or animals should not be living in zoos. So the evidence should really work to convince them of your claim. All right, let's get ready to collect evidence. And first we need to set up our boxes and bullets. So yesterday we wrote our thesis statements and we set up um, and what our three reasons are. So we're just going to set up our boxes and bullets by writing our thesis statement, our support, and then getting the bullets ready. So I rewrote my thesis statement here to remind me what the whole essay is going to be proving. Chocolate milk should be served in schools. Now I wrote support one here. It provides healthy nutrients that children need to be healthy. Now my first paragraph is going to be all about the healthy nutrients and all the evidence that goes in these bullet points are going to be about the health and healthy nutrients. Now I did this with my second reason or my second support also. Here's the thesis again to remind us what the whole essay is going to be about. And our support, it is healthier than other drink options. So now all the evidence I'm collecting here is going to be about how it's healthier than other drink options. And that whole paragraph is going to be about how it's healthier. And finally, we have our third page and you will be using three pages in your um, notebook and on Google Classroom so you have space to collect the evidence. Um, I wrote our thesis statement where students are more likely to drink chocolate milk than plain milk. So again, the whole essay is about why chocolate milk should be served in schools. And one of the paragraphs, this whole paragraph is going to be about students um, picking chocolate milk over plain milk. So now that my boxes and bullets are set up, I'm going to go to my text set. And you're very familiar with the text in your text sets. You've read them um, all during your argument and advocacy unit. But we're going to be rereading these. But this time with the purpose of collecting evidence um, to support our claim in the essay we're going to write. So I'm going to keep those three reasons in mind while I read. I'm going to pause as I read and ask myself, does this evidence or could this work as evidence to support um, my claim? So again, my reasons are that chocolate milk is um, chocolate milk has nutrients that children need. That chocolate milk um, is healthier than other drink options, and that children are more likely to buy chocolate milk than white milk. So as I was rereading, this paragraph stood out to me here. You only have to watch kids in the lunch line to see the truth of what Miss Dobbins says. Given a choice, almost any child will choose chocolate milk over white. We serve six or seven cartons of chocolate milk for each one white milk at lunch, says Mrs. Rowley, a server in the local elementary school cafeteria. In fact, it's pretty much only with breakfast cereal that any kid would choose white milk. Hmm. So this quote from Mrs. Rowley, who works in a cafeteria, so she sees firsthand um, how much chocolate milk and how much white milk is being sold, I, I think this could work as evidence to go with our reason 
that chocolate milk should be served in schools because it provides healthy um, or because students are more likely to drink chocolate milk than plain milk. So I'm going to go ahead and put that quote here. So now when I write this, when the reader says, well, how, how do you know that's true? I will have this quote from Mrs. Rowley. I'm going to write the name of the article, which is Nutrition in Disguise by Manny Danforth. So I know where that piece of evidence is coming from. All right, so I'm going to continue reading this, looking for other evidence um, or seeing if there's um, more evidence that will fit with my other reasons. If it tells us about the nutrients, if it tells us about being healthier than other drinks. And when I'm done reading that article, I'm going to go to another one um, to look for more evidence. I should be using two to three sources to collect evidence, not just one, because it shows that it's not just one one-sided article that the source came from it or the uh, evidence came from. It came from many different articles and many different people are saying that this is true. All right, so now it's going to be your turn. You are going to first set up your boxes and bullets on Google Classroom or in your writing notebook. You're going to reread articles from your text set um, with those reasons in mind. Um, you're going to find two to three strong, uh, three, two to three pieces of strong textual evidence for each reason. One of those pieces of evidence should be a direct quote from the author um, or someone who's interviewed by the author. Then you're going to write the evidence in your boxes and bullets graphic organizer. And remember to write the title of the article and the author of the article um, so you can remember where the evidence came from. And you need evidence from at least three different sources. It can't all come from the same article. All right. So that was our goal for today, that we can collect evidence, um, quotes and evidence to support our claim. And we did that by rereading texts and using a, gra a boxes and bullets graphic organizer to collect our evidence.